Good afternoon, Tom Johnson, along with our mayor, Sue Kim. How are you, Sue? Good to see you. Good to see you. So on Tuesday meeting, uh, tourism and, you know, the impacts that that has on Laguna Beach was on the mind of city council people. And you had a discussion of um, forming a visitor impact ad hoc committee. Talk a little bit about that. So it's kind of a two-prong approach that uh, council member Orgill and I are going to be working on. We're an ad hoc committee that was approved by the council on Tuesday night. So we're going to work on kind of two, um, two ways to approach the problem. One is what I, we call more tactical in nature, where we, um, we're going to be considering is increasing our trash removal frequency and then how are we going to staff for enforcement? Because we've been do doing a really good job of, with the media of getting the news out to the community that we, you know, we're concerned about not the fact that they're coming to town, but the fact that, you know, when you you need to leave a you don't need to leave a trace when you come into town, you need to take your trash with you and abide by our rules. Um, so we'll be working on different ways to do, do that enforcement. We want to get quite aggressive with our enforcement next summer. So. Well, once again, welcome people to the beach. But if you're, you know, breaking our rules, we are going to ticket. We are going to ticket you. Um, and then we have uh, kind of social. But the bigger thing I want to do with the city managers from talking to Dave Kiff about is kind of rejigging our budget. So right now we have a July to June fiscal year. So what we could do is um, when we start planning for next summer, we could have a surge, kind of a surge plan where we shift kind of our focus in terms of you know, our financial um, resources and our different, you know, our different public service agencies and public works to address these problems as they as they come up in advance. So we're ready to go by the time the summer, you know, comes around and we're not caught like, oh, look, we're having huge impacts with certain things at the beach. So we'll be ready to address those. And I think that will be uh, well received by the community. Now, you know, we're not going to be able to stop this um, coming, but we can really work on uh, you know, aggressively, you know, uh, finding and penalizing people when they don't uh, follow our rules. Last uh, Tuesday at the council meeting, we did uh, up our penalty fees for parking in particular. So now a ticket's between 72 and $100, depending on the circumstances. So that should get someone's attention. If you get a $72 or $100 ticket, that should get attention. Then we'll, we'll start putting that out in social media, in particular next, next summer. In advance of the summer, so people kind of know, hey, you know, park where you're allowed to park. You to move on after your time is up. Then the on the kind of a larger issue is, so we have you know Visit Laguna. People you know tend to think, oh, Visit Laguna is you know driving a lot of uh, people to the beaches. I don't think people when they come to the beach are thinking about Visit Laguna. They're just coming from inland because it's. But now having said that, so Mark Orgill has been drafted. Kind of overall approach that we want in a way that we want our town to be viewed both from visit Laguna and um, from the you know to, from the day trippers point of view so you know our important things to us are our, our environment uh, our heritage and culture and then just the way we operate as a community so what we'd like to do so rather than having with visit Laguna where you have a you know a bunch of GMs of the hotels on the board We'd like to have a you know a community organization that focuses on you know our hotels, our business, also on our environment and on the arts, for example. So we'd have representatives from all those different groups, and they would sit on the board, a couple of council members probably, and we would all sit on the board together and work together. So I think it'll be really effective, and I think it'll be well received by the community. So that's kind of in flight, and uh, Mark Orgelston. He's such a good guy to work with, and he's done, a, I think, a really good job to get us started on that. Well, I think that kind of a committee is so much more inclusive, and it would seem like it kind of crosses over to get some of the people that maybe aren't regularly engaged with the, the impacts of tourism, other than, you know, complaining when something happens or whatever, to be involved in, in maybe solutions. So that, that seems like a good place to go. Yeah, and I think most people who live here appreciate the hotels. I never hear anybody disparaging the hotels because, of course, the hotel guests, you know, they tend to behave themselves here. And, you know, they also spend money in our town, significant amounts of money. I think the average is over $300 a day, which is, you know, like what we'd like to see. 
And there's going to be a lot of upgrades with the hotels. We get $21 million right now in hotel tax. So we're going to get more as time goes on. And, but I think in terms of, you know, to back up a little bit, to address the visitor impact, generate some parking revenue and some, you know, fines from ticketing, which should really help. Mark Orgel and I are going to be talking to the Coastal Commission later this, later this year, early next year, to have like a comprehensive discussion on visitor impacts, parking and other things. And, and I've noticed over the last, you know, recent times, you've done a lot to kind of get out there and, and spread that message. You've been doing some TV stuff. You've been doing messaging out on social media and stuff. Just kind of quickly hit on a couple of those things. Right. So we've been talking to, I think I've done like six on-camera interviews. So the media has taken a lot of interest in what's going on here, a variety of reasons. But we've been using that as an opportunity to say, you know, you're welcome to come here. Please follow our rules. Um, and I think in, in particular, they've noticed these Google ads, which we have over 500,000 impressions in 10 days, which is good. That means 500,000 people have seen it. So, and that's a big number. Sure. So I think we just got to do this multi-prong attack where, we, you know, we put the media on alert that, you know, that we are going to be ticketing so people know. And also to help our residents understand that, you know, we're doing the very best we can with the situation. You know, I think it's a it's a real proactive way to go. You know, there's nothing Laguna Beach can do. We we're going to have those people coming in down the canyon to go to our, our wonderful beach. That's why we're all here. Uh, so let's make the best of it. Sounds like you're on a good track. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week. Thanks, Tom. Have a good weekend.